welcome everyone my name is hemu and to in this particular lecture we are going to discuss how to do the installation of bin scp software and because we need this bin scp software to upload the images in your ebng i will show you how we can do the installation of ebng client pack why i am saying this client pack because it have a multiple software in it like your wireshark is there vnc viewer is there your your putty software is there multiple software will be there inside this particular evng client pack software and we will going to do that installation and after that we will also do the secure crt installation in last lecture as you know we have done the evng installation right where we have downloaded the image of evng and we did this successful installation now let me just show you let me do the installation of bin scp first so if you want to do the bin scp installation what you need to do you have to go here you can type bin scp download go into this official site of bin scp download this software download has been started and let me just put this software on my desktop so i can later i can just or oh, let me just put here okay this download has been completed i'll go here and now what i'll do i'll just double click on this software it is asking install for all users yes i want to install for all users click on yes this is the user agreement it is just a normal installation i want a typical installation which is recommended install see installation has been succeeded finish if you don't want to use bin scp you can also use the filezilla there is a one more software called filezilla but i am a big fan of bin scp now if you will see here bin scp has been downloaded it just installation is also done and you can see you will get this particular prompt and guy let me also tell you one more thing let me just look for one application called putty i'll open my putty application and if i will type here like 192.168.137.50 by default ssh is enabled on my evng so i can able to do the shs on the ip address of evng i accept the public keys and login username is root password is i have changed the password so i have just put that password now you can see i have just got the access of my evng by shs and if i can able to access from here i will not cancel it i'll just keep like that now let me just make the connection 192.168.137.50 username is root password is let me put the password i want to save the session login accept the pub public key password you have to put the password again you can see i got the access of my evng now here we have a two panel right now here i have a two panel this panel is your local pc this is my local pc panel and this is the evng panel means here we can able to see the files of evng let me let me go here let me go into this desktop lab setup you can able to see these are the things i have on my local system right and this is my evng full evng here we have a dot slash you can able to see all the things here with regards to evng that's how we have to make the connection that is how we have to make the connection now we will upload all the images from your local pc to this particular evng how to do that i am going to show you for now i am just terminating this connection 
Now let me just show you the next installation of next software, which is EVNG client pack, how to do that. So I'll go here into this download section. You will get here, Windows site client. So you can search for Windows site client. You can click on integration pack link. Go into this one, this one, because I always use the Google Drive one. Click on download. Now download will start for this software. It's taking some time. It should be fast actually. If this will not work, then I'll go into this link. Let me try to download like a standard downloads. It is initializing the download and download has been started here, but the download is a bit slow. It's around 61 MB of file, right? So from Mega it is working, but this link is also works. You can see I can go and save. Now Google Drive is also started and Google Drive one is done. This is also done, right? This is the one, this is still doing, so I think Mega is done, right? So not an issue, we just need that software, right? This is the link for that. Now, you can go here. Go here. Now you can do one thing, you can basically go into this EVNG client pack just do the installation right click now you have to press yes here next this is the user agreement next it will install the wireshark ultra vnc as well it do have a like putty p link ultra vnc brapper wireshark brapper all these things next finishing the installation now see it will you will get this option now it is trying to do the installation of vnc viewer a language english next i accept the agreement next 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 create a desktop icon next next Next, I don't want to see any available version. So now ultra VNC installation is done. Now it is just throwing this message to do the installation of Wireshark. Next, next, next. I want a desktop icon for Wireshark. Next, next. Install this NPCAP as well. Because NPCAP we need for Wireshark to work. Next install usb pack but this usb p cap if you will do if you want to capture the things in your usb port that time you can basically run this but i don't want to do that because otherwise i think i have to reboot my system so usb i will not do that go here and do the installation User agreement, accept this agreement. Next. Nmap organization, it is just downloading some details, some packages from the Nmap website. Nmap we will use for the capturing the information. Nmap is a very powerful tool for that. In Kali Linux, we used to basically use that tool. Next, next, finish. Now we have done the installation of EVNG successfully. Now if you will go here, if you will start, if you will open this time, you can see it is opening in your putty now. 
because we have installed this evng client pack if you will not install that pack you, you will not able to open these devices i can do one thing let me stop this let me add one more node here because this is the only virtual node i am having i will add one more node and i can just connect them so you can see this plug icon this is how we will use to connect now you can like if you want to start both nodes together you can go here into more action start all nodes stop i all nodes wipe all nodes i want to stop all start all nodes if you want to take the console of both the devices together you can just click on console to all nodes it will open the console of both the nodes I think only one console it is able to do that. Let me console to all nodes. Cancel it, looks like some issue. So the better you can click on this, click on this and it will open to put each section to put each session and you can able to basically see the, okay. If you want to do the capture, you can right click and you can basically start your Wireshark as well. So let me start the Wireshark. You can see, I'm trying to is do is open the Wireshark when I'm trying to capture the packets. Right, I'm trying to capture the packet, but you can see access deny. This access deny issue you will get because by default, it will use the default username and password. Default username is root and password is EB, right? But we have changed the password, right? What I did, I have changed the password. So if you are able to get that particular error message, what you need to do, you have to go into your C drive, program and files, EVNG, and here you will able to see Wireshark dot. You will able to see when to 764, this is the registration entry, Wireshark dot Braver, open with Notepad plus plus. And because you can see here, it is using the default username is root and password is EB because I have changed the password. So let me just configure that password. And let me, this is the password right now for root user. Click on yes. Control S. I have saved it. Go here, close it. Double click. Now you can see it is connecting. When I have clicked on this wrapper file, now you can close it and this time if you will start your capture, your Wireshark will open successfully. You can see TCP dump it has run in a backend. Your Wireshark is also started. If you are able to see this thing, which means you are good to go. Means we did the installation of EVNG correctly, BNS CP installed correctly and your even the client pack is also installed correctly. Now let me just do the installation of secure CRT. Now guys, this secure CRT is a paid software, but I have, I'm having on my system, the crack version of it. So I will use that particular software. So for that, I have to go into this secure CRT. In this secure CRT, what you can also able to download the secure CRT from my Google drive in this test PC and servers, I have uploaded the secure CRT. This is the one, okay? You can download now what I will do, I'll go here. You can able to see secure CRT, you can just go and here, just follow these instruction, how to install. Install the software, obviously we have to install the software in normal way. So we have a 
secure CRT, this one. You don't use to install these ones, okay? These are not related to secure CRT. This is the secure CRT one. Select this and do the installation. Click on yes. It is just trying to prepare the installation. Next, accept the user agreement. Next, affect all users. Yes, next, complete installation. Create a program group for secure CRT as a desktop icon or shortcut. Next, install. Deselect all these options and finish. We have done the secure CRT installation now. Because you know, if you will open the secure CRT, you can type here secure CRT. If you will open, click on OK. So it will ask you to enter the license data. And if you will enter this license data, then only it will work. So what you need to now, you need to do go to into the correct folder to copy the content from secure CRT to the installation directly and confirm the replacing both the files, right? So before doing this thing, you can just cancel it, close it, check into your tray. We don't have any secure CRT open anywhere. Go to into this crack. We have installed this 64, right? Go to into this cracks. Secure CRT. We have a 64 one as well. Secure CRT, right? Copy both of these files. Go to crack folder, copy content from the secure CRT to the installation directory and confirm replacing both the files, right? So these are the two files which you need to copy. Control C. Let me go into the installation directly, which is in C drive. Program and files. Go into this program files 86. When DK. When DK, when DK, where is this one? Epic pen. Is it there in this folder? Yeah, here we have. This is the one. Go into the secure CRT. And let me just use this one. Control C. Control V. Replace the file. Continue. Do this thing. Now use the ex exact full information in key.txt inside the secure CRT folder. Go here, copy this data. Go here, open your secure CRT. So I'm getting the error while I'm op trying to open this, run as administrator, click on yes. Let me go into 641 secure CRT. Just copy both of these. Looks like I have replaced the wrong files. Replace them. Now open secure CRT. Now it is getting size. You have to upload like all everything from the crack 864 bit. Enter the data, click on yes. Now enter the data here. So you can copy that data. Control C, Control V, next. Has a license and permission is accepted. You can go here. Without a configuration password, I don't want any password. If you want, you can put the password. So whenever anyone use secure CRT, he needs to enter the password. Click on OK. Click on OK. You can close now. 
close this as well. You can close this as well. And right now you can see, I am able to open the secure CRT successfully. Close this as well. Close this as well. Let me open the secure CRT. It is opening, which means we did the secure CRT installation correctly. You can see now because if you want to use the secure CRT, like whenever you will open these console like this, right now they are opening in putty, right? If you want, they can open in secure CRT. What you need to do, you have to basically go to into the C drive because now we are seeing the how to integrate your secure CRT with EVNG, right? So we whenever we will open any EVNG nodes, it will open in your secure CRT. So you can go into your EVNG folder here and you can able to see this. As a CRT, you can go and just click hit enter. Just like double click on this one, click on yes. Click on yes, click on OK. And now we have just successfully integrated the secure CRT. Now open, it's still it is opening from here. Now let me just do one thing. Let me log out. Let me log back in. It is it's still opening this in security only. Let me go here. We have a secure CRT. Add it with notepad. This is the registry, secure CRT, everything is fine. Click on yes. Adding information can unintentionally change or delete your values and cause component to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the software for this information, do not add it into the, are you sure want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. The keys and values contain in this has been successfully added to the registry. Click on okay. If we have successfully added then so basically, let me stop. Let me add a new BPC. Let me start. Let me open. Yeah. Now it is basically asking to basically pick an application. So I think this is on my another screen. It is coming on another screen. Just give me a second guys i'll click here pick an application let me stop share let me just start sharing my first screen so if i'll click on this pick an application you can see i get this secure crt i will select this and always use this application and now you can see I got the access of bin SCP. If I will open this and this as well, if I will click on yes, it will open. Now see everything is opening in the same window. So this is how we can basically integrate your secure CRT guys. That's how we have to integrate TR secure CRT. I have a multiple screens, right? See, I can able to open everything just in one window. So this is how we have to integrate our secure CRT with EVNG. So let me tell you what we did so far. We have completed the EVNG installation, guys, right? EVNG installation is done. Somehow my Epic Pen is not working. I have to relaunch this.
somehow it is not working. Okay, not an issue. I have closed, let me open. No idea what's happening. <laughs> okay, cool. So what we did so far, we have basically done the eVNG installation successfully. Then we have done the Bin SCP installation successfully. We have done the eVNG client pack installation successfully. And we have completed the secure CRT installation successfully. And also we have basically integrated our secure CRT with eVNG. Now in next lecture, we will see how to upload Palo Alto image in your eVNG, how to upload router image and switches images, Windows images, Kali Linux images, Ubuntu images, Parrot Linux, Checkpoint 40 gate images, then SDN and other images, how we can import. Then we will see how we can do the, how we can build the lab, okay? So these are the things which we are going to discuss in your next lecture. So guys, that's it for this particular lecture. If you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, we are good to close this particular lecture. And guys, thanks for watching this lecture. And please subscribe my YouTube channel. Take care, guys. Bye.